Hello everyone, I'm Grandmaster Yulang Arismendi, and today I would like to share with you this game played uh, between Aronian and Sviagensev in the World uh, Blitz Championship uh, 2019. Blank has just played knight from a6 to c5 in a very standard uh, King's Indian position. He's creating the threat knight b3, forking the rooks on a1 and c1, but also as ideas such as b4 and also trying to create weaknesses on the queen side and that's the main source of counterplay play for black in these uh, structures so here i would uh, suggest you to pause the video and try to come up with a solution for white all right so the first move that i believe comes to mind is bishop takes c5 we uh, simply get rid of the knight, which was going to fork us on b3. And at the same time, we get this pass pawn on d5. However, there is a downside to giving up your dark square bishop because every single one of your central uh, pawns are on light squares and our opponent still has a dark square bishop. So this bishop on g7 could easily turn out to be very strong later on. So whenever considering moves such as bishop c5, we have to make sure that we understand why we're playing uh, such a move. For instance, let's say bishop c5, d takes c5, and for a second, imagine that it is black to move. So if it were black to move, uh, he would go a4, and now knight d3, c4. If knight c5, we can just move the queen out of the way and nothing is really going on there. Knight before, rook f8, and this bishop on g7 is on its way to either c5, pointing towards the white king, but also maybe bishop takes b4 at some point and go for the weakness uh, that will be created on b4. I'll show you a sample variation, queen f1. My intention is bishop h3, getting rid of this bishop. Bishop f8, bishop h3. And here, black after bishop takes, queen takes, here, here, queen e7. He's got, uh, he generates very, very quick counterplay on the queen side. And in fact, black is better. And therefore, let's go back here. It is key if white is going to play bishop takes c5 to understand that after d takes e5, he has to play a4, breaking that pawn chain on the, uh, on the queen side. Now, Black has two options, either b4 or b takes a4. I'm going to start with b4. And in this position, knight b5 is a pretty good idea for uh, for white. And the reason for this is that after bishop takes, we take back with the queen, queen takes, pawn takes, and both c5 and a5 are very, very weak. And uh, one of those pawns is going to drop. Therefore, for instance, if knight d7, bishop h3, and this is really looking bad. Keep in mind that after f5, our knight could, could come to d3. Here, f5, come to d3. And it's already hard to suggest a, a move. If the rook from a8 moves, then the pawn on a5 drops. If rook fc8, then d takes, uh, e takes f5, and everything hangs. However, let's go back here. I really like knight d1, which is one of the main intentions behind a4. We force our opponent to uh, move the pawn and create holes, which are going to be very, very useful for our knights. And after knight d1, our knight is going to c4. And for instance, uh, rook fc8, knight e3, knight e8, knight c4. And this is an excellent knight. c4, stable outpost puts pressure on both e5 and a5, and at the same time, as a bonus, it keeps black's knight out of uh, d6, which would be an excellent uh, blockading square. Therefore, uh, Zviagensev in the game, instead of b4, decided to try to create some counterplay on the queen side and take on a4. Knight takes a4, bishop takes, otherwise c5 drops right away. Rook takes a4, fc8, knight d3, and knight d8. In this position, Aronian played a move, uh, which I don't really like. I'm pretty sure that if this had a bit of a slow game, he would have played completely 
different. Uh, so let's say bishop h3 hits the rook, and after rook c7, queen f2, the pawn on c5 is going to go very soon. Knight d6, knight takes c5 here. And after rook a a1, we can remove the knight whenever we uh, deem necessary. Black and white is just a pawn up, passed, uh, passed on d5, and there is really no uh, compensation whatsoever for uh, for black. But this is a blitz game, and blitz games, uh, you do sometimes want to keep your opponent under attack all the time so that he uses time, and eventually that could uh, prove decisive. So Aronian played f4. After f4, the idea is if we take on f4, he wants to play e5, and suddenly d6 is, is coming. The bishop on g2 turns out to be a monster, and that pawn on e5 keeps black knight on uh, e8 knight out of play. Therefore, he played queen to b5 and rook a c4. This is another interesting position. I would suggest to, to suggest you to again pause the video and try to come up with uh, an answer for black. All right, so after rook a c4, black had uh, an excellent opportunity, which was knight d6. That's the square the knight wants to go to. We hit the rook, but of course, the uh, downside of this is we're simply dropping the pawn on c5 right away. However, after rook takes c5, rook takes c5, rook takes c5, the key move is queen a4, keeping the queen very active. After queen a4, the pawn on e5 is indirectly protected because after f takes e5, queen d4 check, king to h1, we take back on e5, rook c1, a4, and black has uh, great compensation for the pawn. In fact, I think most people would simply take black here. Uh, he's for choice. The reason for this is he's a uh, pawn down. However, the knight on d6 is very, very strong. It's a stable blockading square for the knight, putting pressure on e4 as well. And the bishop on g2 is completely out of the game. It's shut out because of his pawns on e4 and d5. So I had black played this, he would have been uh, back in the game. However, here, Zviagatsev took on f4. And of course, Aronian got to play his main idea, which was e5. Pawn takes g3, h takes g3, and now he played a4. It would have been slightly better to go rook a7, but the position is quite bad anyway. He went a4, and after d6, rook ab8. Bishop d5, and here black decided to resign. Uh, after bishop d5, f7 is very, very weak. Our rooks could easily start piling up on that pawn with rook f1 and rook f4. Black's knight is out of the game. Bishop on g7 is also shut out. So position is totally lost. No reason to continue. Right? Okay, so I hope you like the uh, example and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.